September is historically the worst month on the stock market. Well, what if I tell you that there are still a lot of great opportunities on this market that has already surpassed all the analyst expectations for 2023. And in fact, today I'll share with you three of the best stocks that you can buy right now in September 2023. So without further ado, let's take a look at my pick number one. Starting out with a company that has lost quite a lot of value lately and I've decided to pick the company Walt Disney with the ticker DIS. The universe of princess and happy creatures hasn't been that wonderful for the investors over the last couple of months, where since one year the stock has lost about 25% of its total value and it is currently sitting at its lowest point since 7 years. This downtrend of the value of this business has been linked to multiple factors such as the high competition in the entertaining field as we will see later on in the video. But for now, let's take a look at how Disney is able to generate their income. Disney earnings can be divided in two main branches. First, you have the Disney media and entertainment distribution that include many streaming and broadcast services such as ESPN+, Disney+, and Hulu. In their latest earnings report, we've seen that this branch was worth about 62% of the total earnings of this business, and the rest of the earnings came from the Disney parks, experience, and products, which obviously include their numerous parks around the US, France, and Japan, but also the sales of many of their products such as the toys, the clothes, the books, and the console games. So in that case, why have they lost so much value lately despite having a great diversified business model? Well, as I told you earlier, the biggest problem that this Disney is facing at the moment is the high competition that they have into the entertaining field because nowadays with the Netflix, Amazon Prime and YouTube of this world, the online video field market is getting saturated by many big companies that want to have their part of the pie and even big companies such as Disney can see some decrease in their total number of users on their different platform because of this phenomenon. Indeed, as you can notice in their third quarter earnings report, you can see that both ESPN Plus and Disney Disney Plus Domestic have both lost some audience compared to the same quarter but in 2022. But the good news about a company such as Disney that have a lot of great broadcast and streaming services is the fact that they have been able to increase the number of their users with both the Disney Plus International and with Hulu. However, to this, Disney has been facing a lot of critics lately, notably because of the ideology that they are promoting in their movies. And they've also faced some legal problems with the Florida governor, Ron DeSantis. And so all of these problems haven't helped Disney to gain more of its popularity. Plus, since the company currently has about five times more debt compared to its current cash position, well, it obviously means that it is massively dependent on the increase of the interest rates. Nevertheless, despite being in some bad momentum lately, I am someone that is trying to find some great opportunities when everyone is panicking because as Warren Buffett once said, be greedy when others are fearful and be fearful when others are greedy. And in the case of Walt Disney, despite being in a bad period at the moment, keep in mind that this company is still well established in the art of many young and older kids, notably because of the popularity and the success of many of their past movies, but also because of the quality of their attraction parks all around the world that are making smile a lot of kids. And so despite having still a quite high price earnings ratio, this business still worth over $100 billion at the moment, and you can see that they've still been able to grow their total revenue as well as their earnings before interest and taxes over the last couple of years, which is an excellent news for the investors. Now, the second business on my list is a great alternative to the classical beverage companies such as Coca-Cola and Pepsi, and it is a business Keurig Dr. Pepper with the ticker KDP. This American multinational that is worth close to $50 billion is worldwide recognized for the quality of their beverage such as Dr. Pepper, Crush, 7-Up, Canada Dry, towards as well as the famous ANW root beer. Add with their multiple kind of coffees, this business has been able in 2022 to generate some revenue of over $14 billion. Obviously, this company isn't the shiniest and it isn't the company that will revolution the world. But keep in mind that every time that you go to restaurants and that you see one of these beverage, well, it means that this company is making a certain profit on it. 
add to this, in their latest earnings report, Keurig has been able to report an increase in the sales of two of their three main business segments, which are the US refreshment beverage and the international branch. All of these increases have led to an increase in the sales and the net income of this business year over year compared to the same period but in 2022. And this phenomenon has been pretty much the same in terms of their earnings per share progression, where you can see that their total EPS has been massively growing during that period. All of these metrics combined with an excellent dividend yield of over 2.30% that is paid on a quarterly basis. And with some great revenue growth over the last couple of years, you can see that this makes that this business is still able to continue to grow year over year. Plus at the moment, what makes this company particularly interesting for the investors is that obviously it has a lower price to earnings ratio compared to other competitors such as Pepsi and Monster. And since one year, they are still down of about 12%, notably because of the high amount of debt that they have. But at the end of the day, it makes that this company might be very interesting, especially for all the dividend investors of this world. And finally, the last pick on my list is the American business 3M with the ticker MMM. With over 60,000 products under their numerous brands from adhesive to abrasives to medical products bypassing by dentists and orthodontic products and multiple kinds of consumer goods, it is safe to say that this company is involved in many important fields of our economy. However, we've recently seen that this business has lost an important lawsuit concerning some earplug problems for the US military, and this event has made that the company agreed to pay $6 billion to settle the lawsuit where $1 billion will be paid in the form of equity from 2023 to 2030. However, you might be able to understand that this has made that the company has lost quite a lot of value lately, notably where it has lost about 15% of its total value since the beginning of the year. However, this company that's still worth about $50 billion and that has been able to generate some revenue of about $35 billion in 2022 has notably been able to beat all the earnings prediction of the analysts lately. But despite that and being able to beat the analyst predictions, we've seen lately in their latest earnings report that they haven't been able to grow their total sales in the important business segments, which has led to an important diminution of about 15% in their total net income year over year. This decrease was justified by 3M as being an effect of the normalization of the post-COVID impact on our lives, notably for the medical equipments and all the medical products, but also because of the hikes of the interest rate as well as the high inflation that obviously have a certain impact on the consumption of the people. Never Nevertheless, with a juicy dividend of over 6% and some potential upside for the next couple of months, it is definitely a company that might be quite interesting at these levels. So there you have it. Those are three great stocks to have on your watch list for the next month of September 2023. Obviously, there are plenty of other great opportunities and plenty of other stocks that are currently at discount at the moment on the market. But if you want to find an investment vehicle that will provide you all of these stocks that are currently at discount under one taker, well, check out the video that's going to be right over here and I will see you soon. Peace.